So, so what we have today is um, we're going to be multiplying binomial times a binomial. All right. So to do this problem, there's a couple things we need to remember about multiplication. First thing we need to remember is the distributive property. The distributive property, remember, stated whenever you have a number outside of parentheses, that number is going to multiply times both of those terms. Okay. So my example, you know, if I had 3 times x plus 2, that equals 3x plus 6, right? Because 3 times 2 is 6. Mm -hmm. 3 times x, 3 times a variable, is going to be 3x. The next thing we need to remember is our rules of exponents. If I have an exponent, sorry, if I have a monomial times another monomial, they have the exact same base, and they have exponents, I add the exponents. Right? So if I had 3x squared times x to the fifth, don't worry about the 3 and the 1. You just multiply the numbers. That's going to provide you 3. 2 plus 5 is going to be x to the seventh. Right? We're good for that. That's stuff you guys were moving on from this. So now when we have a binomial, you guys notice you say, well, Mr. McLogan, I don't have just one number outside, right? I actually have a binomial. Well, guess what? To do this, what we're going to do, the first method I'm going to show you is what we call this kind of like the distributive property method. You need to multiply this number times both of your terms on the outside and this number. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the distributive property twice for your binomial. One with one term and then do it with the other term. Make sense? So let's just work it out. Four times x, and then plus 4 times 5. Why am I saying plus? Well, because that's a positive 4, so you can put a plus in front of there. Then I do the next one. That's a positive x, so x times x plus x times 5. Okay? That's all we do. 4 times x is 4x, plus 4 times 5 is 20 plus x times x is x squared, plus x times 5 is 5x. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to see if we can combine like terms. Do you remember what combine like terms mean? That means whenever you have the exact same term or same base with the same exponent. So do I have any other x squareds in here? No, so I can't combine x squared with anything. Do I have any other numbers, just simple, just numeric numbers? No, so I can't do any other numbers. But what about this 4x and this 5x? Do they have the same base x with the mm -hmm. exponent 1? Yeah. So I can combine them. 4x and 5 plus 5x gives me 9x. Okay. Then you can say bring down the 20 plus x squared. Now I'm kind of showing a lot of different tips, show, um, steps. You guys don't need to show all these steps. But the main important thing I want you to have for your final answer is it in standard form. So that's again another thing we learned. Remember standard form as your first exponent first, then the next lowest, then the last. So your final answer should be written in standard form. And there you go. Ta -da. That's it.